Nowhere is the symbolic importance of colour more vividly expressed than at the Festival of Holi, which marks the coming of spring in the Northern Hemisphere. It's celebrated throughout India and the diaspora with an explosion of colour, and it inspired this week's special menu prepared by Mela's resident chef. I'm taking some inspiration from Holi today and celebrating colour in the kitchen. On my menu, a Gujarati specialty called Dokla. It's a savoury cake and I'm going to add my very own twist to that. For the main course, a vibrant veggie pilau and for dessert, a funky marble cake. I'm starting out with the Dokla and for that, I've got some chickpea flour going into a mixing bowl. And to this, add some rice flour as well. And to this, I'm going to add about three quarters of a teaspoon of bicarb. Just sprinkle that in. And now, double thick Greek yogurt going in. And to this, 375 mils of cold water. Now use a whisk to work the ingredients together. It does bubble up a bit as soon as the bicarb reacts with the yogurt. Once that's mixed, leave it aside for about an hour to rest. This is now ready. It's been resting for about an hour. I'm introducing some colour. I've got some drained sweet corn here, and that goes in. Lemon juice. Chopped green chilies. I'm using my fingertips. I'm going to try to remember not to rub my eyes after I'm done with this recipe. Some sugar. Oil. Turmeric. This is also going to add that lovely golden yellow colour. And lastly, seasoned with salt. Mix the ingredients through. Now I'm pouring this into a 25 centimetre greased pie dish. Just level that by tapping the tin gently. I use some foil to cover up the pie dish. Press that down and just make sure it's sitting quite firmly in the steamer and leave that to steam for 45 to 55 minutes. There's always much excitement in the kitchen when I make this marble cake. It's also known as a zebra cake, but I'm using about three different colours today. The first ingredient going into the bowl, eggs. I've got eight eggs, it's quite a large cake. It is a celebration after all. I gradually add the sugar. light and fluffy and it's tripled in volume as well. Now in goes the flour and four teaspoons of baking powder. Fold the ingredients together. Now you need quite a long spoon for this and always use a metal spoon when you are folding in to incorporate air. Now oil going in. I do favour an oil sponge over a buttery one. The cake stays softer for longer. Cold water, vanilla paste. So about a teaspoon of vanilla paste going in. Now for the fun part, and this is bound to make most kids, in fact all kids happy, even adults too. This is a very cheerful cake. We need four bowls. Pour some batter into each bowl. This doesn't have to be exact, you can just guesstimate. Food colouring, I've got three colours here and I'm going to leave one plain. First, blue going in, a generous blob, red, I want it quite vibrant, you can also play around with the colour and add as you need, green and swirl that colour through. red. This actually forms a bit of a dark pink. Green. All done. It's 
So here are my four colors. Let's get some baking tins. I've greased and lined three 20 centimeter baking tins. So just in the center of the pan, drop a bit of the green. I'd say about two tablespoons of the green. I'd say red or pink. Another two tablespoons going in. Now white going in or vanilla. Again, it doesn't have to be exact or precise. It doesn't matter if you get the colors mixed up. And now the blue. I feel like an artist. Now these cakes go into a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for 22 to 25 minutes. Before you pop them in, tap the tins down lightly just to remove those air bubbles. Let's get these into the oven. Now for the veggie pilau. We're keeping it quite simple with the pilau. First ingredient into the pan, sunflower oil. I've preheated this pan already. Two little cinnamon sticks, a bay leaf, these are broken, so I'd say two little ones. And then some cumin seeds. They start to splatter. Next in goes some chopped onion. Now lightly season with salt. I'm using veg stock for this, and stock already has salt in. Saute these onions until they're golden brown. Ginger and garlic paste going on top of the onions. Red chili powder, about a tablespoon and a half. Next in goes some fried potatoes, some green beans, carrots, and peas. Stir this through and just scrape the bottom of the pan to release the spices that are sticking. A teaspoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of garam masala, and a pinch of turmeric. These spices flavor the vegetables and the rice as well. Next, add basmati rice, but one and a half cups. I haven't washed it, it's just dry rice going in. Pour in some vegetable stock. Stock isn't always used in Indian cookery, but I quite like the flavor. Add the butter on top and let it steam through on a low heat for about 15 minutes. Dokla is a vegetarian snack and I'm going to show you my very own take on it. When I was a kid, I always wondered why is this purely vegetarian? And I always think it would go really well with prawns. So here's my twist. Sunflower oil going into the pan. Now, some mustard seeds. Some cumin seeds. In goes some prawns. Once the prawns start to change color, add a little garlic, some curry leaves, and sesame seeds. The prawns are now cooked and the curry leaves make this look quite vibrant. Now pop that on top of the dokla. And that's the dokla done. The cakes have cooled down. And just take the first one and remove the baking paper and pop that onto a cake stand. I'm using some buttercream for this. You could use fresh cream or a cream cheese frosting as well. It does seem like quite a pity to cover up these layers, but I promise you, once you slice through, it's a divine surprise. Next layer, and make sure it's as even as it can be. Work quite gently. The cake's really soft. You don't want to pull the cake apart. And now for the sides. And just turn the cake stand around as well. That's as good as it gets. There's a few colorful crumbs coming through. And to garnish, I'm just using some white roses. These roses are from my garden. They make a lovely garnish. 
that's our funky marble cake done. These are my three dishes inspired by Holy. To start, we've got the beautiful dokla. It's pale yellow in color, topped with sauteed prawns. For the main course, a vibrant vegetable palau. And then that funky marble cake. It really is a true celebration of color. Enjoy it.